how would you define energy literacy and why is it critical for the sustainable growth of the power sector energy literacy is very very important as one must know how the energy is produced it is to be used efficiently because any wasteful expenditure of electricity or energy is going to cause more harm to the environment rather than being usefully used that is how energy literacy becomes very very important that people must know about it and try to see that it is being used optimally and more efficiently so that it doesn't harm the environment in terms of co2 emissions or global warming npti is organizing initiative for promoting energy literacy what do you think are the biggest barrier to improving energy literacy and making the public energy consciousness i'll say there is no barrier the only thing is we need to sensitize people we need to chalk out good programs good and effective programs depending on the mass which we are trying to deal with we have various languages in the country we have to reach out to the common language and the program must be based on the local conditions must be categorized and must be charted in a manner in which we are able to reach to the common people to the students to the elderly people and to every citizen of the country and since they are varied they are having a different nature we must plan our curriculum accordingly how do you see the journey of indian power sector in the terms of the challenges and achievements over the years indian power sector is growing and it will continue to grow at a much faster rate than what we had anticipated a few years back because of the economy revival and the gdp growth happening we are expecting a good growth in the power, indian power sector and could be of the order of 7 to 8% uh, in the recent future and could be of the order of 6 to 7% in a long term horizon what policy changes do you think can strengthen energy literacy and workforce development in the power sector in terms of policy changes definitely we are trying to see that there is a good amount of focus being given for making awareness and trying to see that there are institutions which are mandated to see that uh, the people are made literate about electricity its uses its benefit it's hazardous as, as well because if you don't know about electricity properly you tend up to have electrical shocks there are some fatal accidents as well and particularly it is seen in the rural areas where people are not so much aware about its implications so making them aware about it making them to know what the implications could be it could even lead to the fatal accidents so we have to target zero accidents and in that endeavor ca has already made a safety regulations and these regulations awareness must be really made and must reach to each and every individual who are the user of electricity and any forms any other forms of energy in this direction we have recently held fifth edition of lineman divas which was also attended by dg npti and there the main reason and the main focus was to make linemen aware and linemen are the front line warriors who really attend and attend to the electricity faults electricity causes and try to see that the electricity reaches to every consumers in an uninterrupted manner so most important part is the person who handles it the person who uses it must know the nature of electricity its implications and how it can really cause accidents which can be leading to even fatal accidents as well 
so if we have to have a zero accident zero fatal accidents then definitely awareness and literacy forms a most important part of the journey in uh, as we go along with the growing emphasis on clear energy how does cea ensure a smooth transition from fossil fuels to renewable while maintaining grid sustainability we already have a good plans for this and national electricity plan has already been published which really gives a road map of addition of renewables and in this endeavor we have been already meeting the commitments which we have committed in the international forums whether it was cop 21 or cop 26 we are already heading towards more than 50% of energy uh, installed capacity generation installed capacity coming from the non fossil fuel very soon at present we are already at 47% so reaching 50% is not at all a challenge we will be reaching in next 2 years most most probably and by 2030 will definitely reach somewhere around 60 or 64% of that kind we have also made a projections even to a time frame of amrit kal and that is by 2047 and in that time frame our percentage of non fossil fuel will increase further and it should be somewhere around more than 80% and by 2070 definitely india is targeting net zero so idea and the strategy is to increase the percentage of non fossil fuel in terms of install capacity as well as in terms of the overall energy generation in the country ubharte uh, hue bharat mein yuvaon ke liye aap energy literacy ko kis tarike se dekhte hain yuva yuva hamare desh ka stambh hai aur agla jo generation abhi hum log se take over karega unhi ko drive karna hai economy bhi drive karni hai unhi ko rather they have they are full of energy they are full of innovative ideas they have full of uh, i'll say unke paas puri josh bhi hai wo karke dikha sakte hain kuch nayi cheez bhi karke dikha sakte hain so unke liye ye janna bahut hi zaruri hai ki energy ka kya form hoga kis tarah se hum isko aage leke jana chahte hain kis tarah se environmentally sustainable energy jo ki hame desh ke liye chahiye जो कोई ग्लोबल वार्मिंग को कम करने में सहायक भी हो प्लस जिसे हम कहते हैं ग्रीन एनर्जी ग्रीन एनर्जी को कैसे बढ़ावा देना है इस सब की नॉलेज उनको जब तक नहीं होगी तब तक वो ये काम को कर नहीं पाएंगे और ये अभी चूंकि इवॉल्व कर रहा है इसमें इसमें अभी बहुत ही इनोवेशन्स होनी है बहुत ही आर होना है तो जब तक जो हमारे नए विद्यार्थी हैं वो और जो विद्यार्थी जो अभी नए नए जॉब में आए हैं जब तक ये लोग इंडस्ट्री के साथ और एकेडमिया के साथ मिलकर के काम नहीं करेंगे तब तक शायद हम इनोवेशन की तरफ नहीं जा पाएंगे इसलिए इनका साथ चलना बहुत ही जरूरी है एनपीटीआई यानी कि नेशनल पावर ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट के इस एनर्जी लिटरेसी मिशन के लिए आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे आपको क्या लगता है कि पावर सेक्टर में एन की इस मिशन की क्या भागीदारी रहेगी और फ्यूचर क्या हो सकता है एन पावर सेक्टर के लिए ही बनाया गया था और इनको पूरी दायित्व दी गई है कि वो पावर सेक्टर प्रोफेशनल्स को अच्छी तरह से ट्रेन करें हर एक फील्ड में ट्रेन करें और इन ये अपनी दायित्व को निभाना बेखूबी से जानते हैं अब ज़रूरत ये है कि जो हमारी चेंज हो रही है जो सिनेरियो चेंज हो रही है रिक्वायरमेंट्स चेंज हो रही है इसको मद्देनज़र देखते हुए उनको ज़रूरत है कि सभी चीज़ को रिवाम करें सभी चीज़ को कॉन्टेक्चुअल बनाएँ और जब तक कि ये चेंजिंग इन्वायरमेंट जो एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन हम कहते हैं ग्रीन एनर्जी की बात कही जाती है इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स नए तरीके से आ रही हैं ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन है डेटा सेंटर्स है दे आर सो मेनी न्यू थिंग्स विच इज़ कमिंग सो एन पी टी आई मस्ट रिफॉर्म इट सेल्फ एंड ट्राई टू सी दैट ऑल द न्यू कोर्सेज आर इंट्रोड्यूस एंड दे आर इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी इंडिविजुअल सो दैट इट कैन बी परकुलेटेड The idea also is not to only concentrate on Hindi or English versions, but we probably will have to go to the regional languages as well, so that we are able to reach to the to each and every individual of the country. Thank you, Mr. Kumar. Thank you. 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 Thank
थैंक यू सो मच सर